Hey, home groups. I hope you're having a wonderful week. Uh, as we looked at Matthew chapter 5 this past Sunday, we learned what it looked like to be a kingdom participant, to someone who lives in the eternal life that Jesus Christ has given us. What kind of characteristics mark our lives? What are the characteristics that we should be cultivating uh, and training ourselves to be? How, what, what, what are the ways that we should be putting off the old life of sin and putting on the likeness of Christ? We discuss those characteristics and, and, and you can see there the kind of person that lives the eternal life that God gives us in, in, in His kingdom. But you also saw the reward that is ours. There is suffering coming. There is difficulty coming in walking in the way of Christ. But the reward? The reward far outstrips the suffering that we will have in this life. The glory that is to come does not even begin to compare with the reward that is ours in Jesus Christ. And with that in mind, we have certain responsibilities. We have a responsibility to be salt and light in this community, in this nation, in this world. Our lives, our character reflecting the glory and goodness of Jesus should be slowing the decay of this world. We should be practically influencing the people around us, the culture around us, the government that surrounds us with the goodness and glory of Jesus. Does your character slow the decay of the world? Does your light shine with the beauty of Jesus Christ? Do people see and, and are drawn to the wonderfulness of Christ because of who they see Him to be in your own life? All of these things really matter. As we go into this election cycle, we should not go in with fear and trepidation. We should not go in with angst and anger. We should go in as members of the kingdom of God who know that our reward is coming, who can rejoice in the Lord always, no matter the circumstances, because we know who is the Lord of glory. So home groups, I encourage you, talk about these things together tonight. Be encouraged together and be salt and light.